Halo, halo, Sacred Icon viewers. I am back here on YouTube with our buddy, Haruspis, and we are going to talk about the latest Inside Infinite and kind of what we think about it, uh, what we think about 343's transparency, and uh, just how it compares to other developers and, and other things in this industry. How do we feel about that? I know a hot button topic lately has been I wish 343 would share more details, we don't know anything, and I have my opinion. I'm sure many of you have seen our opinion on Twitter. But I kind of want to see what Alex thinks, and it was kind of have a dialogue back and forth there. But before we go right into transparency, Alex, what is your takeaway from the Inside Infinite that we had? Yeah, it's, I think it's quite exciting, isn't it? Especially knowing that it could be just days away right now that, uh, yeah. that we'll actually be getting hands-on experience with the uh, with the game. I think they do a really good job of kind of setting those expectations about the experience and uh, sort of outlining, you know, what the what the focal points are going to be. The thing about the bots really got me way more excited than I thought it would <laughs> because I kind of just shrugged off bots as like, oh, this is something games have had that's kind of boring. But when I was hearing Joe Staten talk about the bot like coming to find him crouched in like an alleyway or whatever, and that was just the ODST difficulty, I was mm. like, this sounds pretty awesome. And I'm also pretty sure that ODST and upward bots are going to be able to just completely own me no problem because <laughs> I am not good. Um, at the game because I think they said there was was it uh, so was it Marine Recruit Soldier uh, Marine uh, Recruit, Recruit Marine ODST Spartan mm, very cool uh, so yeah they said that the flighting would be starting with, with just bots and and like the, the the drill is the drill is basically that thing we saw in the video where it's just like bots running across the screen and you trying out weapons right isn't that what that yeah, drill, the drill that was seems to be that's it, what I yeah. That's what I thought I got from it. So, yeah, so that would be this weekend is what they're aiming for. They didn't say that that's confirmed. They said they, they're trying. So it mm. could, if it goes past that, uh, you know, then they, they've covered themselves for that. Though I do see plenty of people on Twitter saying, hey, can we please, I, I have to I have to work this weekend. Could we please delay it? It's like, <laughs> There'll be some people are happy always, then. Yeah, there's always going to be some, some people uh, for that. But, uh, yeah, so talking about transparency and, and 343, so what, I think at least Alex and I see a lot on Twitter is uh, people saying that we're not getting uh, much information from 343, we're not getting much information about Halo Infinite, I feel like we should know way more uh, by this time, and I just wanted to kind of just touch on different aspects of if there's any truth to that, or uh, do we think that's not the case? Um, I know looking at now compared to maybe, you know, mid-2018 to mid-2019, probably a little different but i don't know what's your what's your general thoughts right off the rip alex yeah you know i've seen some people say that oh you know going into like halo 3 or something we knew a lot more about the game uh, than we do now about infinite and I, I think with stuff like that you kind of have to take it for the time because i mean that was 2007 and you know completely different kind of landscape in the industry and everything i think this far along i do get a lot of the points that people are making you know that there is um there's been less of kind of the stuff like Vidox and things like that, which we would traditionally get assigned at sort of intervals. Uh, and certainly, you know, it's not uh, been reflected with 343's own kind of cadence with Halo 4 and Halo 5, where, you know, we had like the sprint three seasons of that, where they were, uh, you know, really going deep into the making yeah. of the game through that video content. But we've had these Inside Infinite blogs now for what, five, six months? Um, yeah possibly longer Since December <laughs> yeah and uh you know these are very long <laughs> you look at the scroll bar the size and they're just like they're they're tiny I'm intimidated you know reading them I get to feel like what people feel when they see one of my articles and they say oh, yeah that's kind of what I was thinking <laughs> <laughs> no I'm reading it along and I'm thinking man this thing's probably almost over and look over at the scroll bar and I'm like I'm not halfway yet oh my <laughs> this is crazy so yeah, um, like in the interest of transparency and everything, uh, you know, I think that what they've got so far that they've delivered to us has been very open, very detailed, and uh, you know, I don't think anybody else in the industry that I've really been, you know, keeping an eye on for upcoming titles has got this level of depth in in terms of what they're talking about. Yeah, I've certainly never experienced um, something like this myself. I, I think I think what maybe I could resonate more with is people saying, you know, when, when people are saying they want more content than what we've been getting from 343, I think I have seen other developers release more gameplay footage, mm. more you know snippets, more trailers, 
more like a dev playing the game. I think we've seen more of that from other games for sure, mm. but that's just not that's just not the approach that 343 has taken. I feel like they've shown what they've wanted to show, which, you know, as far as piecing together what this game is, I think we have a pretty good idea from the campaign demo from last year, which should... I, I tell me if you agree that should mostly be representative of the type of game we can experience in campaign, mm. despite any graphical upgrades. Yeah. Um, and then we have the the multiplayer stuff this year, um, just from E3, and then the the behind the scenes kind of Vidoc at three four three afterwards. So if you take everything they've shown, and then kind of to go off what you're saying, I feel like they've shown a, after what they've shown, they've taken that and they've just detailed it into minuscule details across mm. everything that we have been shown. So it's like maybe you know. This game over here, maybe like Assassin's Creed, we've seen four times the trailers, but we haven't got that one-to-one communication between the developers and the community about everything they're doing, why they're doing it. I mean, even with this, this uh, the the Inside Infinite we're talking about right now, they're talking about how there's going to be problems. They're expecting, you know, we don't know how many are going to crop up. Or, you know, not everybody's going to get in, but we're gonna we're gonna have multiple flights. Like they're telling us so many things that I don't feel that uh, they need to tell us, but mm. it's definitely appreciated. So I just think they have a different approach, but even with the different approach, I feel like if you take just quantity-wise of how much we've gotten about uh, transparent, how much transparency we've gotten from 343 as opposed to other game developers, I feel like it's a lot more. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a lot more content, and they're, they're constantly involved in the community with, with flighting and, and things of that sort. I mean, how many games have we had where the multiplayer comes out and there was no kind of, there was no flighting or, or build-up <laughs> with that, you know? Or ins, the insider flights we've had for MCC, I mean, everything about, um, to me, 343 is a company that was started by Halo fans, and it feels like they, they that's their culture, they know that's what they are. They're professionals, but they're fans themselves, and they know what it was like to be in the community, and they know how vital the community was to Bungie during their time, and they try to emulate that. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I yeah, I, I guess, I guess when, what would your response be, Alex, when you see people on on Twitter? Let's let's to be to be fair, let's say they're they're being constructive about it, and they're not <laughs> being buttheads. Uh, when you see people on Twitter saying, you know. I think it's it's think it's really kind of sad how much 343 hasn't shown us and there's not enough. I mean, we are currently as the time of this video we're in July. The game's pr- probably it's not coming out any earlier than November. I can't imagine. Yeah, we've still got um, a so good like just, four months to go, I reckon. F- yeah, four to five months ish. So I mean, do you feel like we should be seeing more gameplay, more trailers, more Vidox at this moment, or if that if that if that all started in August or September, would we look back and say? Oh, I guess I guess that was like a normal launch. <laughs> yeah, because um, ultimately, you kind of—it's it, hard to separate what you want from like the facts of the situation, right? I yeah. myself would absolutely love to have some more Vidox and uh, you know some of the more kind of yeah. generals. I'd love another ARG or another Hunt the Truth and stuff like that. But I think three four three has kind of learned their lesson from Halo Five and has uh, held back a bit. Uh, on some of those things and you know obviously since the game was originally supposed to come out last year but uh, due to covid and the delay and everything they've had to push all that marketing stuff back um we've primarily obviously <laughs> had the uh, the mega construct stuff uh come through where a lot of details have been learned and you know that that's unfortunately just how it goes because that partnership is something that is planned very early on you know it's planned in such sort of granular detail right down to the shelves that these toys are going on in yeah. certain stores and stuff like that so you can't change or delay that but the the media side of things for the game you absolutely can and uh, you know i i do hope uh, and sympathize uh, with people who who feel similarly that uh, in the coming months we'll get a lot more of that content but you know personally for me i'm, I'm all right to kind of step back a bit and just sort of um wait and see and i mean mm-hmm. you know since we're potentially days away from actually getting our hands on the game itself you know at least um a certain part of it and getting those first direct impressions i think that's going to be a lot more valuable than sort of what a vidoc can really communicate you know maybe for other features like forge and stuff like that whatever upgrades they've got going there that'd be really good but in terms of actually you know that feel of the game and uh, you know getting to actually see it in action and see it in motion we're we're very close to just doing that, so uh, you know if that delivers, then uh, I'm all I'm all fine with it. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I think I think we're on the same boat where it's easy for us to step back and say, I, I have other things that I can, can focus on or spend my time on. I know for me, there's just other games that I like enjoy playing. There's other things I like to do, uh, hobbies and such. And I, I think what it really comes down to is for the people... Well, it's two things. For the people that Halo is like their game, you know, pe- you know, some people, and there's nothing wrong with it. Some people out there have like their one, two, or three main games they play, mm-hmm. and that's it. And then there's some people like me, Alex, Josh, where we have like hundreds and hundreds of games we've played over the course of our lives, and we have so many attachments to all of them, and then we're like, I just want to replay them, but there's also new games, and it's, there's not enough time in the world. Um, but for those people that this is their one game, their one thing, you know, it's been six years that they've been waiting for, for a new mm-hmm. Halo and it's just they're just hanging on every word, every letter three four three releases, just hoping to get some satisfaction. And ultimately, what's going to truly satisfy is when that game is out. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, and until it's out, that's just kind of going to kind of be the, the the game. You know, and then for the rest of us who have other things to do, I think we're also just wanting to we're just wanting some substance. You know, and mm. I, even if I feel like what we're getting with these details is substance, I think for you know. For the the not not Haruspices, the the not uh, sacred icon, a lot of times, you know, details about how the flighting works and, and behind the scenes stuff just isn't that interesting to people. I think it it reminds me of Ugh, what was that what was reading. the flight we had? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, the flight we had over Halo Waypoint. You know, I saw I saw that go live, and then in the tweet comments to the tweet, in less than three minutes, people talking about how the 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 inside infinite did not show this this or that and it's like okay the the halo waypoint inside infinite would have took any reader on this planet at least 10 minutes mm. and in two three minutes you, you've you've said that like oh it didn't have this you know and it's like they're being transparent it's just not necessarily the things that you're hoping for in the moment and i think when at the end of the day when the game comes out and we're playing it all this stuff's kind of going to be you know it's going to kind of just wash off you know especially if the game is good you know that's yeah, that, really what it's going to be if it delivers you know? then people so. people forget about this within a matter of like as soon as they load into yes. their first second match absolutely absolutely but uh alex thank you so much for joining me on this video uh, we really appreciate it um guys if you can leave in the comments below what you think about this inside infinite what you think about the flighting are you irritated that it's just bots do you think it's cool that it's just bots do you think 343 is being transparent, or do you think they're one of the, the worst uh, uh, companies, game companies that are being transparent? I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, leave a comment below. Uh, like and subscribe. We appreciate you guys. And as always, keep it sacred. Peace, guys.